Hi everyone, it's Abulia here, and I am going to show you how to install Reshade into Silent Hunter 3. Um, if uh, you've played the game for any length of time, you will occasionally get a night attack, um, either on the surface or via the periscope. Um, depending on how your monitor is calibrated, in my case it's set up pretty well for a variety of games, but Silent Hunter 3 is extremely dark, especially on nights that don't have a moon. Um, but if you want to try to apply a filter to the game, you can't use the NVIDIA filter because Silent Hunter 3 is so old, it doesn't recognize the game. Uh, you could manually adjust your monitor's brightness or maybe your color profile, but then you'd have to undo it uh, during the day. So that's just annoying. What Reshade allows you to do is once you install it, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do, you can enable it and disable it a variety of screen effects. And the screen effect we're looking for is basically a brightness filter or a contrast adjustment. Um, so you can do other stuff to make your Silent Hunter game look better if you'd like, uh, like pump up the brightness or the vibrancy. But what we're going to be using it for is to make those nighttime attacks much easier for you to see what's going on. Um, one little caveat I'll give you here is that I've experienced a couple crashes while using Reshade. Um, I think it's related to Reshade. I can't know for certain. Um, but if you save your game uh, at a reasonable interval, I don't think you're going to have a problem. At the very least, you can try it. Plus, what we're going to do is we're going to install Reshade as a mod. So you're going to be able to very easily turn it on and off with uh, or remove it from your install via JSGME. So let's hop on in. Uh, there's going to be two links that you're going to need that are both uh, below this video. Uh, the first is to Reshade, which at the time of this recording is version 5.8. It works fine, I found. And then an auto DLL injector. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make ourselves a uh, new folder in our mods folder. You can see all the uh, one Alex mods here. And in this case, this folder, I'm just going to call reshade. I'm going to back up one. We're going to find the Silent Hunter 3 executable, so the application. And we're going to copy. Now we're going to go into that mod reshade folder. We're going to paste that bad boy right here. So this is not a shortcut. This is a copy and a paste. We need the whole executable here. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop open reshade. Reshade's going to look on our computer, try to find some stuff, but we're going to point it right here to local disk, the one Alex mod, Silent Hunter 3, mods, reshade. We want this new executable that we copied and pasted. Open that, select next. Silent Hunter 3 is a Direct 9 game, so select that. We have no preset, so we're just going to skip that. You're going to want to use the standard and the Sweet FX pack. So basically, don't touch nothing. You can do more if you want, um, but that's up to you. Um, these are the files from the SweetFX. The ones we want are Technicolor and really anything you want. So you, what you can do is you can uncheck and say Technicolor. There's also an FXXA. There's a fake HDR. Um, there's some fun stuff you can play with. Um, uh, you know, if you want to do, uh, a sepia tone, there's a, there's a whole bunch of, of things you can do, but, uh, you know, for fun, let's just do these plus the basic ones that already come with it. Okay. That's it. Uh, we can now, uh, delete the Silent Hunter 3 executable. We no longer need this. And we're going to rename this guy the D3D9DLL. So select it and rename. And for our purposes, just put SH3 underscore. That's all there is to that. Okay. Now we're going to unzip the auto injector. So just extract. It's going to open a new window with the with the folder. 
you're just going to grab this auto ejector exe, drop it right here. That is a move. You could copy and paste if you want. I just moved it right on over. Okay, we are now done with this mods folder. So now what we're going to do is we're going to back up two levels. We're going to run JSGME. And if you look on the left, you're going to see a new folder for reshade, or new mod. We're going to install or activate that mod. That's it. It's now in. Over here, we're back in the Silent Hunter 3 directory. We want to find that auto-inject file. This is kind of optional, but in case you have problems, right-click, Compatibility, make sure Running, Windows 7, and as Administrator. We're good to go. All right, so now we've installed the mod. We got it there. Now we launch Silent Hunter 3, but wait, not quite. We're going to send to the desktop, create a shortcut. And now we're going to run this. Uh, this is an old process, but I'm going to show you how to do it again. Uh, what you do is click on those dots, find the Silent Hunter 3 executable. It's in Silent Hunter 3. Open that. You're then going to add that process plus, and it's going to add it up here. You're then going to go over here to libraries. You're going to find that Silent Hunter 3 DLL, select it. You're going to then plus add that process or that library. And then you're going to want to click and turn on inject upon process startup. Very important. Every time you run the game, you need to start this injector first. So leave this open. Do not close it. We're now going to start Silent Hunter 3. And if you watch my other video, in which case, thank you very much, we're going to launch it. Notice we still have the injector running. Keep it running. Pick our captain, Captain Paul. If you look up top, you'll see that Reshade 5.8 is loaded. Okay, we're now in the game. As per the instructions at the top, you press the home key to start reshade. Uh, there's a quick tutorial. You can go through it. I'm going to skip it because I've done it. And these are your um, filters. Basically, you click on a filter. It will enable the filter. I'm going to turn the brightness up on this one to touch. And there you go. You can also turn on performance mode if you'd like. Uh, performance mode basically doesn't let you actively... I, this might be what causes my earlier crashes. I'm not sure. Um, you can also enable and turn on HDR. You can, tr you can play around with all these filters, but this is the one we want. Okay. To get out of this menu, you just hit home key again. All right. Let's load our career. I'll load you into a game, and then we'll take it from there. All right, we're back in the game. It is evening. No, it's not. Getting there. This is a good time for me to show you what the reshade does. You hit home. We can enable things like HDR. In this case, we're turning on the Technicolor Brightness. It will brighten everything up. Unfortunately, that's just the way it works. But let's advance the time to when it's uh, evening, and you can really see it at work.
Okay. We're at midnight. Heavy seas, so this is without reshade on. Now, this is it with reshade on. So pretty impossible to see what's going on. Uh, much improved. And there you go. That's it. Hope you found this useful. Um, you can play around with some of these others. You can probably adjust the strength. The Technicolor one was simply the easiest one I found to adjust uh, brightness. It's fairly, it does brighten up everything, but again, with the click of a button, you can turn it off that, that quickly. Um, like most things, I would recommend not adjusting reshade or doing anything funny while in the middle of time compression. I wouldn't turn it on and off uh, or adjust. I wouldn't make heavy adjustments. Um, anything you can do to kind of minimize the chance of it crashing, probably helpful. Um, in this case, this is really the only one I use. If you turn on performance mode, what, it, what performance does, it, re, it removes the ability to adjust the sliders real time. So uh, I have crashed the game by fooling around with some of these options, which, you know, they're just fun to do. All right. Well, there you go. Hopefully uh, you found that helpful and uh, good luck and happy hunting. Take it easy. Bye-bye.